So the first thing I'm going to do is for my eyes, I am using um, Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC and just like a fluffy brush. This is from Kat Von D. It's um, nothing fancy or anything. And yes, I use a good amount to prime my eye. You just want to, I'm using a fluffy brush because it blends it in better. So just prime your eyes. And I'm also going to prime underneath. My eye. And I blend it into my eye or into my skin with circles. Yeah. So what I like to do second is I throw on some lip balm. I have become a huge sucker for this lemon drop flavored um, EOS balm. And then moisturize my face. And I've been using lately the Complete Comfort Cream from MAC. It kind of smells like Fix Plus. I like it. And I only use a little because my skin's been a little dry lately. What I'm going to use... Is this is a Mac Pro color? It's called Naval. There's a lot of similar colors to it. They've been promoting a, like deep navy colors like this in almost all their palettes lately, which is kind of driving me nuts. But I would recommend having a blue like this because it's really nice. Um, I'm gonna start with this color actually, and I'm going to be using um, my Sigma E45. It's very similar similar to the Mac 226, which I have right here. So, yeah. Which one should I use? Let's go with the MAC one. So, I'm going to get that product all up on my brush. And we are going to kind of chisel out the shape of my crease. So, only in the crease, guys. And don't worry, it's not perfect. That is what blending is for. Alright, you can see where I'm placing this right in the crease. And yes, I'm bringing it all the way up front. You can see how it goes down a little in the front and up and around. That's the shape you're going to do is you're going to connect the line right there. So you want to make that outer V. So just with the same brush, I'm going to load it back up in the product. And I am going to place it there and just work on my shape for a second how I want it. Now this is why it doesn't need to be neat, and this is why I do eyes first, because I could go ahead and crisp that line up when I'm doing my foundation. So I'm slightly feathering the color inward, and it's creating a really pretty effect. I'm going to include pictures at the end so you can see the true colors, because I know my lighting is not great. But you can see it's a deep navy blue, and it's really... Wowie wowie, and I'm placing this as my all-over lid color. It's from Urban Decay. It's really gorgeous. Let me swatch that for you. Ooh, I look scary. I'm sorry, guys. It's like a gold, which is really nice. MAC doesn't really have a color that I feel is dupable to this, so... It's like the only <laughs> Urban Decay shadow I have in full form because I used it up in my palette. I really like this shade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this on the lid and it is really gorgeous with that navel blue. Yes, navel blue is a pro item. I'm going underneath the eye with the navel shadow. As you can see, I already started. Like so. so then you want to fill in your eyebrow by doing short little flick motions following the way the hair naturally grows. I also just wanted to let you know if this eye looks like it's a lot lighter, it's only because the light is coming from this direction and it's messing with how it looks. See if I block it, it's not lighter. They're equal. Just wanted you to know that. So. I also just wanted to let you know if this eye looks like it's a lot lighter, it's only because the light is coming from this direction and it's messing with how it looks. See if I block it, it's not lighter. They're equal. Just wanted you to know that. So next, I'm going to use some liner. Okay, and I'm going to use Urban Decay Zero Liner. For this beautiful nautical look and I am tight lining in the upper outer corner 
Johnny, what's up? My cat's meowing at me. Okay, and on my bottom waterline. Two. Like so. I'm gonna go ahead and use vellum. Vellum eyeshadow, it's a little bit nicer. I have it in this little elf quad I got for a dollar. It's this white one down here. I should have used this first off, but whatever. So I'm gonna go under my brow now. So this is Max Carbon. I'm gonna go ahead and set the bottom waterline where I put that black liner. I want to stick with the blue theme, and I'm using Signature Blue um, Super Slick Liquid Eyeliner. You could use any dark blue liner, black liner. I would stick away from the brown. I'd probably use dark blue or, br uh, or black, excuse me, um, because it just would work better with this look, I feel. But, you know, all my tutorials, everything I say, take what you like and do it how you want. So I'm going to try to line in the computer. This is going to be bad. I know it is. If you want a little flick, I don't really, you can extend it, but I don't really want that. I just want a simple, plain little liner. I'm using MAC Zoom Lash. Give it a twirl and a weave and a pull. And, well, let's prime first. I'm going to use some Prep and Prime Skin Base Visage, whatever they call it, just like one pump. And just rub that in while I talk. Okay. Um, let's see. I've been obsessed with this foundation. I've been using, um, I already have, I'm on my second, no I'm not. I have backups of my concealer and my foundation already for it because I don't plan on going back to anything else. I love it. Now for you drugstore ladies, I like this one. This is my favorite drugstore foundation. Um, it's the lasting finish 25 hour foundation from Rimmel London. I'm in color 100 ivory. Um, I also really love Revlon Color Stay and I use it in my kit, but the issue is I'm very yellow toned and they don't have one that fits my personal skin shade, so that's why I don't use it on myself. I used to, but it just doesn't match me that well. Somebody with really strong, somebody with really strong yellow tones in their skin like me, you may want to try a MAC foundation because they can deliver you a color that's going to work. Um, here I have a little cosmetic sponge. Yes, it's dirty. I sprayed it with alcohol, so no germs. It's fine, all right? This is me. I'm doing my makeup on, not, not appliance, so I could reuse my sponges. So I just use about three pumps, probably. That's one on my cheeks. I put one like there. And then one less one on my forehead. Okay, and then I kind of have to work a little quickly with this foundation. It's the MAC Pro Longwear. I'm normally NC25. This is in NC20. So I put some on the nose. A little on the sides of the nose, on the chin, around the mouth, and over here because I get breakouts there, and above my eyebrows because I like that spot light, and I do that first. With the sponge, I'm just blending it in to my foundation. It really goes in perfectly and covers everything. I will not buy this again. My studio finish, I don't even use it anymore, and I had a new one. I'll show you. It's it's just this I'll break out when I have like Mr. Zit Mungus on my face, but otherwise no. And I would never use that under my eyes anyway. I always use something different there. I prefer a liquid under my eyes. But I honestly really truly feel that this concealer covers just as good, if not better. And way more natural of an effect. Blends so easily into your foundation. If you had to get one or the other. I guess the concealer. And then I like to do my second pump of concealer, a smaller pump, onto my finger. And I put this, I do, like, under my eye. 
skin finish in medium natural and I have a powder puff and I just powder the areas once and I'm usually good throughout the day so then for contouring my face which is what I usually do next I take my Mac bone beige they used to have this in a duo from a collection I believe Mac squared this with the highlighting powder I wish I didn't miss out on that this is a Mac 168 So I just load it up and put it, if you make a fishy face, I start from the mid of the ear. And you don't want to go too far in. This shade luckily isn't too dark, so I can go farther in. But if your bronzer is drastic, you really don't want to do that. I'm going to do a video on face shapes. Maybe I'll do that today. Because according to your face shape, there's different ways to contour. Looking for hue, but it's hiding from me. Sandy Bee's pretty. We'll go Sandy Bee. Here's the finished look. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. I'm sorry if it's a little choppy in places. My computer is like anti me recording anything. It just wants my life to be a pain in the butt. So, I hope you dig it. Nautical cut crease. I look, I think I like the Sandy B better on the lips and the impassioned with it, personally. So, I'm gonna try to snap some pictures.